Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. I have a 2008 uh, Toyota Camry. The customer complained it was a diet on her while driving. So the first thing that I uh, check on the car usually is oil, uh, you know, fluids, make sure that we have no issues. Uh, the car did a start on us in here. So the only thing that I was able to find it was the alternator wasn't even put in you know 12.7 you put a little bit of a load and i was going to 12.4 i didn't do a video of that because it was you know that's something simple but you can see we got new alternator and belt i put an air filter because it was i mean dirty so i now check because you know i was about to pull the car out and the car died on me i had to run it for like two hours shaking everything before nothing so i wasn't going to bother you guys with another video with no conclusion but then to keep back on the on the problem uh so i was about to pull it out and then the car died on me uh this car has a breathalyzer so i'm like a little worried am i cutting ignition or a fuel injection because of the system we have a bypass from the company allowing us to work on the car right uh, for those who wants to know, this is a two-way ZFE. It's a 2.4 engine and it has 200,000 miles. So, of course, my next step, first I check spark. We have a spark. And now I'm going to check the fuel pressure. The easy way to get on this car, don't look for a, a relay or a fuse because it's, it's not serviceable, it's not accessible. So the thing you can do is remove the rear seat it's, all you got to do is just pull on each one of these tabs and it comes out very easy. That cover is just glue there. So remove the cover. Then the wire that you're looking for is, uh, let me get the light so my hands off, is the gray wire. The white wire with the black stripe is the ground. And the uh, big thick or, or the thickest wire, gray, is your fuel pump activation power. Make sure that you set up the clamp on the right direction. Otherwise, you will just have it all, uh, you know, reversed. And for this, I already, I did a vehicle and I am going into uh, the active test that you can do with the hotel. I'm using, again, uh, the uh, Fluke 190-204. I love this tool, it's just so easy. So I'm going to control the fuel pump. I got the ignition on. You can select some beats if you want. I'm truly don't need any, but I mean, they want you to select something, so I select one. All we need is pump on and off, so I'm going to set the pump on, which is very important. And I'm going to hold that because that's all we need. All right, we can turn uh, turn the pump off. I'm going to exit the scanner part. Turn the ignition off. Sorry for that. Uh, let me remove the key so we don't have that noise stuff in here. And let's see if you guys can see that good because sometimes it's a little hard to see here on this little screen, but bear with me. So I'm going to put a cursor. Um, I can move the first one. I'm going to go over to this high hump and now well, let's count uh, at eight or nine, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're pretty, pretty close. So let me select the next cursor and to the upper part. So as you can see, we have 26.21 milliseconds. If you multiply that by 60, uh, let me, that's like, um, so almost 1800 RPM. So this pump is barely spinning. So we have either a problem with the pump or a problem with the fuel filter. The car was running good. So I would probably think more on, uh, on a pump. If I remove the cursors, we can also see there is only drawing 2.48, uh, you know, almost two and a half amps. That also tells me that we got a good ground and a good power, but still I will, I will always check that. So let's, uh, let me set another channel here and I wanna check power and ground to that uh, uh, pump. Make sure that we are getting the right voltage. All right, guys, I'll be right back. All right, pretty much ready to go. 
So this is scope, I uh, got to click on the scope and then readings and we're going to add a second channel. So we're going to B, oh, sorry. And I'm sorry, yes, change everything. <laughs> so let's see, let's take this. Good, we got to pick up the second reading. All right, so enter. Enter B, AC, no, we want balls DC, and one one, because I'm not using any attenuator. And let me see what is A now. Let me try to put ignition. It's gonna be a little noisy. I'm going to do the activation of the pump again. I am selecting the same thing that you guys saw, you know, with the one pit. So just give me a second. And voltage is over limit. So let's change the voltage. Uh, Oh, yeah, we're in my volts. Let's go find both for the vision. All right, so that's better. And we can hold that reading. It's showing me 11.7. What is our battery voltage? Well, the battery is a little low, as you can see. Well, it's 12.2, so that's battery voltage. The car should start the way this, this is going right now. So again, we only have 2.46 uh, amps, almost two and a half amps, the same thing. And the voltage is, is good. We know that is a, load, a loaded test because the pump is running. So this is a, a no good pump. This is how you test, very easy, especially with a, a handheld oscilloscope. The setup is just 10 seconds, you know, so I love this. All right, guys, so this is just a, have a little bit of a diagnosis and informative video for all of you and how to do a fuel, pan, a fuel pump test. All right, I'll see you next time.